And we'll start the meeting of the local traffic authority slash board of selectmen, June 9th at 4.30 PM uh, to discuss the no parking tow zone on East Shore Road. And uh, there's been an issue with people parking along that stretch of East Shore Road. It goes from 65 East Shore, which is the Whipple residence, all the way up uh, Harrison Hill, uh, close to the top of the hill. In the past, it was parking at the, what was the state boat launch, what is now the uh, town boat launch. And now we're seeing issues with people parking on the road due to the Morristown Beach. Uh, the area already really is a no parking zone, but looking to get a little more teeth there to include a tow zone if only if necessary, especially to help protect the uh, gate at the Morristown Beach to keep it from being blocked by vehicles that tend to park there right behind one another. Uh, I think you did receive some of the statutes that uh, Mike Ryback had sent out. I can share them on the screen. But first, I think I'll, uh, I'll kind of show you the area that we're looking at. Share screen. Can you see the uh, the map, the Google map? Yeah. Okay. So where I have the cursor is uh, uh, 65 East Shore Road, where the Whipple residence is. That's already a no parking area all the way, uh, heading north up to, it's about to 137 East Shore Road. That's that newer house on the left, just before the uh, crest of the hill, uh, heading up to Harrison's Lumber. That's already all no parking through this area. And really just looking to add, make it a tow zone also, and that's just by our vote and adding uh, signs on the tow, tow zone signs on the no parking sign posts that are already there. Uh, Mike Ryback did send out some uh, correspondence and how we're able to do this and the right way to do it. And we do have the power under Connecticut State Statute 14-307, parking restric restrictions and regulations. And we are the local traffic authority for the town of Morris, the Board of Selectmen is. Uh, but if we do decide to move forward with a zone for a uh, tow zone, we need to require that traffic authority provide written notice by certified mail to the owner of any vehicle removed. Two, provide any such owner with an opportunity for a hearing before a hearing officer appointed by the chief executive officer of each city, town, or borough, and specify the procedures for holding such a hearing. <coughs> Three, provide that the owner or keeper of any garage or any other place where such vehicles stored shall have a lien on the vehicle for its storage charges. And four, specify procedures for sale at public auction of any vehicle placed in storage, which is not claimed within a specific time, time period. I sincerely hope that we never reach that point of, uh, you know, I hope we don't reach the point of people getting towed. I just hope the signs are enough, uh, uh, I guess, a tactic that will prevent people from parking there. And I would definitely take the initiative to go down into the Morristown Beach to find a person who has been parking on the road and encourage them to you know, remove their vehicle from that location instead of towing them. It's really a last resort thing, but you, we do need some teeth to, uh, to uh, enforce the no parking there. Yeah. Well, I, I agree with Erica brought up a good point last time we had a little discussion. You start blocking the gate and uh, that's, that's a safety hazard for any EMS or fire if they have to get to the, the beach. I think that is an important part right there. Yep. I, I don't know how important it is when they're parking on the street 
when I went by, I did see him parked and blocking the gate. I did not see anybody on the street, but I only been down by there a couple times. Yeah. The problem is, Tom, who who is going to enforce this? State police. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, like what happened before uh, when people were down in the beach and they were parked all over the road uh, when the beach was closed, I called the state police, the trooper came down. He ended up going in and speaking to the individuals at the beach and they came out and then you know, they moved their cars. I mean, in theory, like I don't have any issue of people parking alongside the road there. It's not a high traffic road, whatever. I, I understand like certainly if I was the Whipples, I wouldn't want um, people parked in front of my house. And I think with the people parking, unfortunately comes a lot of traffic and noise and people, I've seen people hanging out of their cars with the radios on and stuff. So that, that becomes an issue for the people who live in that road. In the garbage too. The trash, yeah, like that's not. So um, I think have to do something, I agree with you. Uh, I know town of Bethlehem is starting to have issues down at their beach with a lot of people accessing it. Uh, town of Litchfield is finding the same thing right now. I did notice that on the Lane White Road where the old Girl Scout camp is, uh, Camp Towns in, in Litchfield, people are starting to find that place and parking on the road to go down into North Bay uh, on Bantam Lake. Uh, I just, it'd be nice to have a tool in the toolbox just in case we need it. I hope we never do and uh, I'd rather not use it, but if it's there, it can be applied. Yeah. So what do we want, we want a motion to approve that area as a tow zone? Uh, Designate that area as a tow zone? Maybe you have motion to create uh, a tow zone in the area that is currently a no parking zone on East Shore Road from approximately 65 East Shore Road to 137 East Shore Road. And including the boat launch driveway. Or no, the Be Town Beach driveway, right? Yes, yeah, that. So I'll make that motion. All right, and I'll, I'll second that. Discussion? Yeah. All right, okay, no, I, yep. I think, you, I think you got it covered pretty well, Tom. It's just, I hate, uh, I'm glad to see that the state police would take the reins on that. Because uh, it'd be very tough for a, us as a selectman or you, Tom, as a first selectman trying to get into something like that. Right. But it, it could create some kind of problem. Definitely. Yep. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved. Everyone voted aye. Can I ask what, what Beach and Rec decided to do with the hours for Town Beach? It looks like they're going to try to open the beach uh, Monday through th Thursday uh, without anyone at the gate. They're going to see how it goes. Okay. Uh, they're hesitant to do that because of trash and overcrowding yeah, and whatever. Yeah. Right? The issues that come along with a lot of people there. I just have seen um, a, some comments on Facebook regarding that beach being closed and I thought that was the reasoning and the plan. I just wasn't sure. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. If it uh, ends up getting trashed and there, you know, get too many people in there crowded in, then we're going to have to relook at it. All right. Are we going to keep the bathrooms locked during the week? Yes. Okay. Is there any any thought about putting a portal light out there? I was just going to ask, like during the week, and then you know, no, I don't think there's anybody who assumes that somebody's cleaning a portal light regularly. So it's kind of use at your own risk, right? And then during the week? Uh, it is an added expense that they don't have budgeted. It's not very expensive though. Is it 90 or 100 and something a month? Laurel, do you remember? Uh, for a handicap one, it's probably gonna have to be handicap accessible to around 200 a month. I just think that's something maybe to like, just because the coronavirus, like we can't leave the bathrooms open. Nobody can clean them. I don't know. That might be an expense worth pursuing, I think. Given I'll the yeah. Yeah, I'll mention it to the beach and rec. 
and Kristen. It might help keep trash down too, you know? Yeah. A lot of the bathrooms locked on the weekends? No, they're open on the weekends. See, now, I would think that they would have to be closed on the weekends because of who would be cleaning after somebody's going in there. I think uh, she's been talking to the people that do the gate. Okay. And they're they're going to try to disinfect, you know, not like really clean. Uh, right. The cleaning, ser cleaning service comes in on Monday. Well, I'm not sure what his schedule will be this summer, but he was there twice a week last year. Maybe it'll be once a week this year, coming in every Monday and it'll be clean, and ready for the weekend. I think just making sure, just going in periodically to spray it down and making sure that there's soap or hand sanitizer or whatever is enough right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, motion to adjourn at 440. Motion. I'll second it. Erica made the motion. Vinny seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. Aye. Everybody have a good evening. Aye. You too.